Hi everyone, welcome to the small business interview. Today I have with me Yusuf Karadogan, owner of Pita Giros. Um, and we remember Pita Giros from Foodworks uh, at Building 20 into Mountain View. Pita Giros is a family owned and operated Greek restaurant serving the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, thanks Yusuf for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So <laughs> tell me, a little bit or tell us a little bit about Pita Giros and your story, um, how long, how you guys got started, how long you've been in business and everything. Okay, uh, so Pita Giros was first founded by my uh, dad and my mom. Um, we were first uh, located inside a Hillsdale Mall and then um, that uh, mall pretty much renovated the food court. So, um, we decided to uh, open up in San Bruno inside San Fran. And prior to that, I was doing um, stem cell and HIV research. And then, so um, when that happened, I was getting ready to uh, apply for dental school. So I had like a gap year. So I was like, okay, let me, uh, let me join my family. Let me help them uh, build this new location that we have. And then, um, so in 2016, I spent the whole year with them trying to get this started. And then, 2017, my uh, my dad got sick, so I couldn't really follow through with the dental school. So I just decided to uh, pretty much uh, run Peter Euros full time. And then uh, since then, we uh, about maybe eight months later, we got a deal with the San Francisco Giants to open a stand inside the Oracle Park. And then around the same time, we also uh, started our food truck. So. Uh, I've been doing this full time for about two and a half years now, uh, but my family has been in the restaurant business for pretty much like since I can remember. And uh, prior to Peter Euros, we had a few other restaurants in the Bay Area, and then my dad's been a um, chef uh, all his life, so he's worked at uh, some really nice uh, Greek restaurants like Evia, um, and he also opened a, a really nice one in Redwood City called Munzer Cafe back in like 2013, uh, 2003. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. And, uh, I run the place with my mom and, uh, my sister, uh, my dad comes once in a while, checks on things, goes back home. <laughs> are these, are these, um, like, uh, family recipes have been passed down or, um, something that you guys kind of, um, refined recently? Uh, it's all my dad's cooking. We pretty much learned from him. So oh, cool. I guess, I guess it's all his recipes. And then it just... is, it's very different to what you've been studying versus what you're doing, but, um, yeah. it's a fun little adventure. Yeah. I, I never, I mean, I did not want to do this at all, <laughs> but I mean, <it's, laughs> it is what it is. So I'm just trying to make the most of it at this point. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, everyone loves the food too. So you, uh, you guys, you definitely do a really great job. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. We love serving you guys. Um, so what's what's going on um, at the moment, and uh, what what effect is COVID nineteen having on your business? Um, so as of um, March sixteenth, we've been shut down. Um, so because we're located inside the, the food court of the mall, the whole mall is shut down. And as you know, it's, it's a, it's a place where a lot of people gather. So, um, even though some restaurants are still open, like the brick and mortar that are like have their own space, they still do deliveries. Uh, unfortunately we can't, um, because the mall is closed and then, um, the giants that was supposed to start, uh, the season was supposed to start on. Uh, April 4th, that's been postponed, so I don't really know what's going to happen with that. I'm not sure if they're going to resume later on or if they're just going to cancel the season. Um, and then the food truck, I can't really take it out because uh, I can't use my prep space inside the inside my regular kitchen inside the mall because um, our entry time in to go in and out is pretty much limited to Tuesdays between 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., so I can't really take the food truck out either. So um, we've been home and we've just been relaxing, <laughs> watching a lot of TVs, learning and eating a lot. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, um, you know, a bright side to being stuck at home is you kind of 
uh, focus on your your mental and physical health and you know we, we'll get through this all together yeah uh, so um yeah what um what were the the state of things um in the mall um leading up to the sh the shelter in place was it like an immediate drop or was it very gradual um it was pretty gradual so um i think towards the end of february going into march things were like declining um and then towards like leading up the week leading up to uh like the closure i think our sales were down like maybe 60 to 70 percent so um, it started like uh, maybe mid-February, towards the end of February, and then it kept going down until um, until closing. So it wasn't like all at once. So it was just like gradually as people got to like hear more about like what was happening. I think they were scared to uh, to come in the mall because, um, I mean, it gets packed. Um, so it was tough. But... Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure um, how, but like um, it just it just kept going down, and then it just and then we weren't even sure if we were gonna close or not because um, we have a really bad management at the mall, so like they didn't even let us know that we we're gonna close until like um, like 8 p.m. on the 15th. So like. Um, we're still debating like, hey, is this going to keep going? Is it not? And then they put the shelter in place and then the mall finally closed. Yeah, for a lot of places, it was pretty instant. Um, yeah, it's 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 very day to day. Um, but yeah, that must have been rough. Um, so, so I guess like when you guys close after that, it's just, um, you know, you, you must have had like a lot of waste and yeah, 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 we had, we actually had, yeah, a lot of waste because, um, I mean, uh, as you know, like things weren't really uncertain, were uncertain with Food Works as well, um, not only at Intuit but at their other locations too. So like, uh, we had prep, we do like uh, some prep ahead of time. So um, I had purchased uh, a lot of stuff for. Uh, I also have food truck days too, so I had purchased inventory for the food truck days, my food works schedule and at the restaurant too. So we had a lot of waste, um, but whatever I could uh, freeze, I put into freezers like the, the bread, some of the bread and certain things I could say, but a lot, a lot of like uh, vegetables, dairy and all that stuff, meat, yeah. had to get tossed out. Yeah, that's kind of uh, the situation we face too right. in our kitchens. The, um, so I guess, we, we're all kind of also expecting a gradual um, kind of, I guess, increase in um, the way, like, like the flow of business and customers coming back. Um, so as, as things go back to, to being normal, um, do, you, do you see any particularly lasting changes or like any changes in the way that you would do business um, as things open up? Um. I don't know. We're. I'm really. Uh, I'm not really sure how things are gonna uh, progressively like get better. I'm very curious about that. How things are gonna get back into place. Um, it's a little bit different. Like, um, I don't. I'm sure. Like after all this, like a lot of our catering or like the food works is through companies that um, like high tech companies. So I'm not really sure if a lot of people are gonna work from home now um, because. I think a lot of companies are figuring out that not everyone has to physically be at the office. A lot of work could get done um, from working from home. So I don't know how much that's going to impact um, our business or in general, how uh, companies are going to get uh, pursue running the, their companies and how they're going to deal with it. So um, I'm not really planning too much until like we open and I kind of see like, how things are changing because uh, at this point everything's still like unpredictable um so i'm just gonna kind of <laughs> take it easy and go with the flow and see how what's gonna happen um but um yeah it's very hard to tell because people i think people are uh social creatures so by 
I mean, like there's a part of us that would want to go back to the office and see everybody, but you're right. We also realize that a lot of work can just be done at home. So it's, it's, and with, um, with the fear still lingering, maybe a second wave, you, I guess you, it's really hard to predict. Yeah, it's very, it's very uh, unpredictable at this point. So, um, honestly, like, I just, I have no idea how things are going to be after this. Um, obviously it's going to take a while for people to kind of like slowly ease into regular things, but there's still going to be a lot of fear, uh, because I mean, there, there's still a lot of asymptomatic people carrying this and, um, it's going to be weird to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how things are going to be. Um, but you know, there's nothing we could do. So it's, it's going to be so different after it's, um, like, that's it. Like the life we knew before is it's altered forever. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know, you know, with all the like talk of vaccine and stuff like that seems like that's going to take a while. So, um, I think it'll be like at least a, another year, year and a half for things to like, yeah, like resemble what it was before, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it'll it will be a while. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm I'm gonna end with kind of a more like lighter question. Um, so I guess since we're uh, a lot of people are at home more and we're trying to figure things out, what what do you what do you cook at home or that you don't normally cook at the restaurant or what are you eating right now? Favorite food or anything? Uh, well, prior to this, like I used to eat a lot outside. I just love like eating outside food. Um, I mean, I'm surrounded by food all the time. So I like eating different kind of food. So I would always eat out. I guess for me, like now I get to eat at home. <laughs> so I'm eating a lot of my mom's like home homemade cooking. Uh, that she used to cook for me like when I was a kid and oh yeah and I could like anything that I kind of want to try um I try at home versus like in the restaurant I'm just like man I'm in this <laughs> all day every day like I don't want to deal with food I just want to go eat good food yeah uh, so I guess I'm eating a lot at home like I haven't I think I only ate out once since this whole time um, and that was in and out <laughs> in and out <laughs> you have a favorite a favorite dish or a favorite food you like to eat uh favorite food um my mom makes these really good uh like um turkish meatballs they're kind of like burgers but not really it's a little bit different um so i love to eat that with like rice and like a nice salad oh that sounds good yeah. <laughs> well we really miss your food Actually, I have a background image right here of all your food that we have. There's baklava, we have, um, you know, pita wraps, the hummus is really good. Um, and yeah, I got your website up here. So if you guys ever, um, you know, once we're back in the office or even at home, right? Order from you guys, order online. Right, I'm moving to the right. Pita <laughs> gyros. I'm pointing in the wrong direction. Pita gyros. Cause my my screen's mirrored, so it's it's weird. Um, but well, it was good having you today. <laughs> and uh, thanks for letting us know what you're you've been up to. We've been really curious about how you guys are holding up, and um, it's it's tough. And I'm I'm sad to hear that um, the you're in the mall and Tanfer's closed, and um, it's gonna be a while but well you know this too shall pass uh, yeah um my manager said <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's it's good it's you know we gotta keep this keep in mind that things will come back um we're all thinking of you um and this will end and we'll we'll come out of this stronger and hopefully more prepared i really appreciate that fox i um I think into it and all you guys, the fact that you guys are like frequently checking in with us, um, that really means a lot. I mean, we, we deal with a lot of partners, um, uh, even our mall management, they're not really uh, on top of things, but uh, to know that like uh, some of our partners like truly care about small business and us personally, it means a lot to me and my family. Thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah, we, you know, we'll, we'll keep in touch for sure. We'll um, check in with, with you here and there. And yeah, we, we care. We, 
you guys without you guys we wouldn't you know it's it's not the same it's it's better with you guys <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate you that guys. Much. Yeah. all right well thank you everyone for joining the small business interview and um we'll see you all soon bye all right. thanks guys bye-bye thank you thanks for joining me again bye Definitely.